Hi guys, it's Jackie, and I'm here today with a little or pretty large maternity haul. Um, I have purchased quite a few maternity items, and I just think I'm to that point where I have enough that I can just show you guys now. So, yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So since I'm going to be super pregnant um, in the fall and winter, I got some long sleeve tops. Um, these are from Motherhood Maternity, and it came, they came in a pack of two, So and they just have that ruching on the side with the extra material. Um, so I got this gray one and this black and white striped one, so I thought those were really good for fall and winter and really good staples to have. Um, these, I believe, they, yeah, they came in a pack of two. Doesn't say how much they were, but I think it was like two for 20. They were on sale, so that's pretty, pretty good. The next thing I got is also from Motherhood Maternity. Um, this one was on sale, it was originally $40, and it was on sale for $19.97. So, and basically it's a button down like this. And um, it has a little tie, so you tie that like, you know, over your bump like that and wear it with like leggings because it's really long so you can wear it with leggings. Um, so I thought this would be really great for follow I'll probably be living in this to be honest. And then this one is also from Motherhood and I got it for like $6 because it had like a tiny hole right on the seam and my mom just sewed it up for me. So. I got lucky with that one, but it's just basically a navy and white striped t-shirt. I got this top from Target. Um, it's just a plain navy maternity top with the ruching on the side. Um, I got this one and I also got a gray and like coral striped one. It's exactly like this. Um, I'm just not going to show it to you because it is in the wash right now. Um, but I really love those. Target's pretty cheap and they have pretty good maternity items. I would not necessarily recommend their pants. Um, when Just personally, when I tried them on, they they were very just weird fitting. And I guess like I tried on the smallest size they had, which was an extra small. And I'm not normally an extra small. Um, but they were like huge in the back and the butt area was just like saggy. I was like, what is going on? So I wouldn't recommend those, but their tops are fantastic. Um, and they're pretty cheap too. I don't really remember how much this was, but I, I think this one was on sale for like $9.99. And then the other one I got was 12 or 13 um, cause it was striped, I guess. But, um, yeah, Target's pretty good. I got this top from Gap Maternity and Gap Maternity is actually pretty fantastic. Um, I absolutely love this. And when I tried it on, it was like, I could definitely wear this, you know, when I'm not pregnant. And I think that has been something for the kind of pricier items that I've picked up. Um, and this wasn't pricier, but I've kind of been looking for items that I can wear while I'm pregnant and then also after um, and that don't necessarily have the like ruching on the sides so you just have a bunch of material hanging out when you're not pregnant anymore but this one is actually on sale well it says $19.99 but it was 50% off that so it ended up being $10 pretty good deal it has a little pocket in the front I really really love this also from Gap Maternity I did get whoops this one is inside out um, I got a couple tank tops. One of them I showed you in one of my pregnancy videos. It's like very tiny um, light gray and white stripes. Um, so that one's also in the wash, but you guys have already seen that one. Um, and then I also got this one because the mannequin was wearing it underneath the other one. Um, and they look really cool together. I like that a lot. And then I also got this reddish one. So I love these. I live in South Georgia, so I live in tank tops right now. So these have been really, really great. And then for fall, I can wear them with a cardigan. So that was great. A couple things I picked up from uh, Old Navy Maternity uh, the other day was this gray and white striped tank top. Obviously, I love the tank tops. Um, this, believe it or not, was on sale for $108. It didn't have a tag on it, 
in the store so I just kind of brought it up to the register I was like I don't know how much this is but I like it and I want it so and it rang out for 108 so I really lucked out with that one Old Navy has great prices um, and then this one is another just like button-down top I would probably wear a belt um, around like right here to show off the bump a little bit more and again this is something that I can wear after pregnancy. Um, this one was on sale for $11.99, so again, great deal. And this one actually was in the maternity section, but was not maternity, but I did not realize this until I got to the register when it wasn't, because all their maternity stuff was 30% off, um, and it didn't ring up as 30% off. I was like, that dress was in the maternity section. He's like, oh, well, it's not maternity, but I'll give it to you anyway. So he gave me the 30% off, and it fits so well. Um, it's just like this black dress cotton dress and um, it is fitted I prefer kind of fitted maternity dresses just because when something hangs off of my bump I just feel like it makes me look bigger than I am and I don't like that so I like things to be a little bit more like fitted to the bump um, and this one even though it wasn't maternity it did not like ride up in the front like I thought it would so I really thought it was a maternity dress but it wasn't but you know it doesn't matter if it fits, it fits. So I love that. Also from Old Navy, I did not purchase this one. My mother-in-law actually sent it to me. Um, but this is Old Navy Maternity and it's just a blue maxi dress. And again, I would definitely wear a belt with this one because it's kind of like really flowy. Um, it's not fitted at all, but I would definitely wear a belt with it. It's a really pretty color though. It's beautiful. I love maxi dresses, especially on pregnant women. I don't know why. I just, I think a pregnant woman wearing a matching ma maxi dress is just so beautiful. Um, so I've been really loving the maxi dresses this pregnancy. And then I went to Destination Maternity. And if you guys don't know what Destination Maternity is, it's basically a maternity store that is half high-end and then half more affordable um, and the high-end side is called a pea in the pod and then the more affordable side is called motherhood maternity and they do have the separate stores as well but destination maternity is a combo of the two so I really love that store um, everyone in there is always so nice they offer me water um, they're just like I don't know and everyone in there is just so happy I feel like when I'm shopping for maternity clothes and everyone else is pregnant, everyone's happy. So it's great. It's a win-win. Um, so the other day when I was there, they did have a sale. It was buy one, get one, $5. So I jumped on that, of course, um, and I got this. Again, this is going to be for the fall and winter for sure. But this is so cute. And again, it doesn't have the ruching on the side. It's just like really loose. Um and flowy and I love that so I can wear it after pregnancy which is awesome um, and this one was originally $58 it was marked down to $19.97 so I got this for $19.97 and then the one that I got for $5 is this one and this one was originally I think $35 so that's pretty good $5 um, and so it's really flowy and long as well the girl at the I was wearing this in my last pregnancy update the girl who worked at the store told me to like tie this at the end here because she actually wears these all the time and she's not pregnant um so i figured i am seriously looking for items that i can wear after pregnancy um just because i feel like i'm spending my money a little bit more wisely the, the shirts with the ruching on the side i'm not gonna wear those when i'm not pregnant um so this was just a great option. I absolutely love this shirt in general, so that was a great buy. And then this one's going to be a little hard to show you because it's long, but um, this one was the most pricey thing for sure that I got, but I love it so much. And this is from a pee in the pod, well, Destination Maternity. Um, this one was, mm, it was $95, but again, it's a maxi dress, so I don't have to wear this when I have a bump. Um, and the next dress that I got, I got for $5, so it was worth it. Um, so this I'm actually going to wear to my baby shower, and it's just a really long, pretty red and white maxi dress, and it is just so flattering. It was so worth the money. I am in love with it. And then this one is 
really the only dress that I got that I could definitely not wear after pregnancy, but um, this one was from the motherhood side, but I it was originally 35, I got it for five. And I just, this is one of my favorite colors. I've always wanted to dress this color, but I've never found one. So I'm excited about this one. It looks kind of weird when it's not on, but it really, it's like form fitting. It conforms to your, to your, uh, what is this called? Bump. And, um, and it goes a little bit below my knees, um, which I'm not used to at all. But it seems like all maternity dresses that I've tried on that aren't maxis, are super super long and I don't know why because um, I'm a very short person I'm well, not really I'm 5'3 um, so I'm pretty short and everything seems to go below my knees which is kind of annoying but I really like the fit of this dress so I got that and I'm gonna be wearing that to a rehearsal dinner and then these next two items I actually really lucked out and I picked these up at Goodwill I walked in there not really expecting much they literally had a maternity section that was like this big on the rack. They had like a few things and most of them were really hideous. Um, but I happened to find a pair of these jeans in my size. Um, and these are Joe's brand. Um, you can get these at Destination Maternity. They're originally $200 and I got them for four. So it's pretty exciting. They're a little bit short. So I do cuff them at the end, but they are wonderful. And they were four dollars so that's amazing i would always recommend checking out goodwill i know i don't know i know some people might not like the idea of wearing used clothing but maternity clothing i feel like it's not really going to be worn that much um i also got a bunch of baby clothes as you probably saw in my baby haul um for 99 cents each and some of them still had tags on them so you never know people may not just have not worn them um and otherwise i don't really care so and then I also got these leggings, and they're just maternity leggings, they're just black. I know that I'm going to live in these in the winter, um, and you can also get them at motherhood maternity, so I don't think they would be that expensive, to be honest, at most maybe $30, maybe $35, I'm not sure, but um, I really like these. And then this top also I got from Old Navy, um, this one was $16, I really like this, it does have the ruching on the side, but it's like fitted to my bump and I really love that and then um, the very first maternity item that I purchased um, this pregnancy is these jeans and they are seven for all mankind um, I got them at destination maternity they have the full panel um, I know you guys have seen these in my bump updates but they just I really like them they fit so much better than any of the like cheaper maternity jeans that I tried so if you're looking to like save on most things I would say save on tops save on dresses even though I may not necessarily have done that um, and splurge on a good pair of jeans that's the one thing I would say because even before I got those jeans from Goodwill I was wearing these ones almost every day so I've been wearing these jeans like every day they're fantastic quality. They don't stretch out, you know, throughout the day. Um, sorry, guys. I'm having a really hard time breathing here. Um, but anyway, I would so recommend these. They were originally, I believe, like $185 on sale for $159, and then I had 30% off. So I think they ended up being around $111 was the final price after all the discounts. So... You can really shop some deals, you can get something for a lot cheaper than they're selling it for, and I would say that they're a thousand percent worth it. The one other thing that I would definitely say is a necessity as far as pregnancy clothes go. These are not maternity, I had these and I wore them all the time before I got pregnant. However, they are fantastic and they are linen pants. And honestly, you guys, I got these from Forever 21 for $15. So you don't have to spend a lot on linen pants. Um, these are fantastic. I've had them for a while. I would say I've had them for like seven months now and they are still holding out. I don't know why people say that Forever 21 clothes don't hold up because for me they always have. 
Um, I actually love these so much that I just purchased two more pairs online. I actually got them on sale. I got both pairs for $19. So not each. I got them both for $19. So um, I got some tan ones and some black ones and I just think I'm going to be living in these. I just wear this with one of my tank tops and maybe like a cardigan. Um, and it's fantastic. It feels like you're wearing pajama pants, but you look a little bit more put together. And my very last maternity kind of tip um, would be to get super comfortable shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this changed my life. I was actually at, we were registering at Babies R Us the other day, and then we walked around the mall and got a bunch of this stuff that I just showed you. Um, and my feet were killing me because I was wearing, you know, just like sandals that had barely any sole to them and my feet were dying after like three hours of standing up. Um, so I went ahead and purchased these and I know these aren't the cutest things in the entire world but you guys, you will not care when you try these on. Um, and they are just Tevas and they were $25. I was going to get um, the other kind of Tevas that you know have the back too but I figured those or not as cute um, and these are a little bit more versatile and the sole was really what I was looking for and it was exactly the same so I'm gonna say comfort wins when it comes to your feet during pregnancy you guys and those are a must so anyway I think that's really it so yeah I hope you enjoyed this haul definitely there are so many deals that you can get um I would definitely recommend the Gap Maternity um, Normally, if it's in your store, it's going to be inside Baby Gap. It's not going to be inside the Gap store itself. So that's why I'd never seen it before, um, but I decided to ask this time when I was in Gap. And they said, oh yeah, it's in the back of Ga Baby Gap. So it, that might how, be how it is for you if you don't think they carry maternity in your store. Um, so yeah, Gap Maternity, Old Navy Maternity, Destination Maternity, uh, Motherhood, if you have that store, or Pee in the Pod. Pee in the Pod is very expensive though so just a warning there um and then yeah and then target for for tops and basics so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i will have my 20 week update up later this week and i hope you guys have a wonderful week bye